Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to show you guys how to put custom icons on Windows 11. So in my case, I have this folder over here and I want to put this icon, Google Analytics icon on here. Um, I'm going to save this icon as my Google Analytics reports. That's why I want to change the icon to that. All right, so it's pretty simple to do. You can right click the icon and go to show more options and then go to properties. So now we're over here, we want to go to customize on top and over here you can see change icon. So let's do change icon and these are the default icons Windows has in it, right? Um, you can see there's a bunch of different icons and these are just built into Windows. All right, you probably recognize a lot of these icons from other places you've seen. But we want to put a custom icon. Okay, so what we want to do is go to Browse, and then it's on my desktop over here. But before we do that, the icon type it accepts is a .ico file. Okay, so this in my case is a .png file. So what we want to do is first go to online, go to a website that can convert PNG to ICO, and then save that. So we can go to this website over here, I have cloudconvert.com PNG to ICO. So you can kind of select any website. Let's see, can I drag it? Yep. Yeah, you can select any website you want. It doesn't have to be this. I know there's like a million online. Uh, just choose whichever one you want. So it's done, should be fairly quick, right? Can I just drag it on the desktop? Okay, so now we can see we have a .ico and a desktop uh, uh, PNG. So let's minimize that and we will browse for this icon. So my computer is lagging slightly. All right, so we can see it's right here. You guys can see over here, it's searching for .ico, .exe, um, and all these types. So we have the ICO selected, let's select that. You can see it over here, that, right there, yep. And right there. Obviously the dimension of this can be changed. It is kind of warped, right? Um, I guess the website kind of messed it up. But depending on the website, um, you can change it to whichever, uh, whatever size you want. So let's just keep it that for now. So refresh. Okay, yeah. So make sure to refresh if you don't see the change right away or if something weird happens. All right, so now we see here, we can just double click it, open it. You can see right here, this was inside the folder, the icon on, t on the taskbar, you can see on top and everywhere. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are a few other icons also, the default shortcut icons that you see on the desktop, for, so like the trash bin or my computer. So that's a little slightly different on how you do it. You want to go to themes first, right? And then go to desktop icon settings. Okay, so these are the default icons you see over here, right? And then um, you can change the icon. So recycle bin full, you can change it to whatever you want. Normally, I don't really mess around with these, right? Uh, but, you know, if you are going for a specific theme, uh, you know, definitely you would want to change these as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can change the, uh, change icons, I should say. Um, and, yeah, it's pretty straightforward, really easy. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.